Traders, I'm going to finish my day up uh, just below $10,000 and I do owe you an explanation about uh, what went on today. You are not really used to see me trade the way I did today and uh, so let's go through this uh, uh, really short. So four trades today all in green territory. I called uh, LRCX, MU, Qualcomm. Uh, one of you guys mentioned CODX which I gladly joined on the short. Uh, the rest, uh, all three were long CODX was short four green trades I'm going to finish up again just below uh, $10,000 and maybe with the rest of my MU trade because I still have 200 shares running riding just over 10. So let's talk about this uh, very shortly. Uh, you can see Qualcomm here and LRCX so I had the idea that uh, they should move higher I also called MU so you see MU here on the left side and they did move higher I don't know what's coming, uh, wh wh why Qualcomm is coming down right now, but again, the market's holding and Qualcomm is likely to move higher. But anyway, the idea was to go long rather than to go short. Now, all of them started down quite a bit, like 5%, 6%, uh, and so. And usually, what you see me do is looking for a gap and go, meaning I'm looking for stocks that are starting with a gap down. And I would love to short it. The same applies for stocks that are starting with a gap up because they should uh, move to a new high, gap and go higher. And stocks that are gapping down should gap and go lower if they're over 3% or so. So usually when you look at stocks at 6% or at 5%, that is a very good gap and go opportunity. But I went the other side. And the reason I went the other side, well, there's actually two reasons why I went uh, on the other side. One of them you need to remember with the gap and go rules, and we do learn about this in the Star Trader course, is that um, well-known companies, and I would regard, uh, I would talk about Qualcomm and MU, maybe LRCX, not that much, but Qualcomm and MU, definitely big companies, people love to buy them when they're down. So usually when you get the gap and go shorting, a stock that is down that much Qualcomm or MU, you want to see a very big gap. Usually I would say 5% or more is good enough to gap and go short. Why? Because people love to buy these companies when they're down. There's a lot of Warren Buffett kind of guys that love to invest in this company. They think that if Qualcomm's down 6%, it's probably going to make it, it's probably going to move higher and therefore they would love to go long. And again, you need to remember that us traders are a very small percentage of the market. Most of the market really, most of the people, participants in the market are more like investors, uh, hedge funds, uh, funds, whatever. Us traders, percentage wise, we're just a very small part. We don't really make a big, uh, uh, big effect on the market. So anyway, uh, just to say that, and there comes the second reason. Why did all of the what what what, what really is uh, uh, connecting all of these uh, companies? Now you probably know uh, Qualcomm, LRCX, MU, and other are all semiconductor companies. So they are all uh, a part of the semiconductor industry. And the reason semiconductors came down today quite a bit if you read the news pre-market as you should be doing, uh, then you probably saw that um, uh, President Trump is uh, thinking about, um, uh, about reducing or eliminating uh, the export of semiconductors to China, big fight between China and Trump right now, and uh, the things are not looking so good, so there's a lot of unknown uh, over that and over there and uh, we don't really know what's gonna what's gonna happen and of course it's going to affect the market of Qualcomm, LCX, MU and Apple came down also because of the same reason and anyway things are not looking good between China and the US right now and that's why semicon semiconductors came down. So the reason Qualcomm, MU and LRCX came down 6% is not because of company specific news. It's not because Qualcomm announced there's something wrong with its business because otherwise I would gladly go short. It's because it is industry news. And industry news do not, wear, do, do, do not behave the same as company related news. When you've got yourself a company related news, then something went wrong with Qualcomm, it's over 5%, a big company, usually I would go short 
go short Qualcomm but it's on the edge like 6% 5% or so likely to go higher I was looking for a chance to move higher on all so Qualcomm I posted over $75 and you can see here that was the second green candle I trusted it to move higher today rather than to move lower and 75 was right over here the second one minute candle it popped up like crazy uh, LRCX was a bit later I posted this one over 254 so 254 was here and it moved up several points uh, three four points or something like that and uh, well MU was quite a legger but I did trust it to move higher posted this one over 44 and uh, 30 um, did get a small profit when it finally went higher but I did trust it to continue higher why did I trust it to continue higher because I saw Qualcomm and when I saw Qualcomm moving higher and higher I mean it's the same industry it came down for the same reason so yes it was a bit more under pressure Qualcomm was trending higher very nicely MU was kind of trending higher uh, more like going sideways and moving a bit higher but you know small profit is better than a small loss I've got small profit in MU and again trusted the semiconductors to move higher why big companies people have to buy them when they're down and it's industry related news people believe people are more optimistic than pessimistic that's the, that's our nature as human beings they believe that everything should go higher that's why they keep buying the market even now when you have uh, a huge rate of unemployment and the coronavirus is all over the place and we haven't seen a situation like this since <laughs> 1929 or so but they still keep buying uh, Fed keeps, uh, uh, you know, uh, printing. Uh, I mean, the U.S. keep printing money, whatever. I'm not getting going to get it into into eco the economy issues here, but you know, people are more optimistic than they are pessimistic. So Qualcomm's down, MU is down, LRCX is down. Let's buy. It's probably going to make it. I mean, things are going to get solved between China and uh, Trump, right? Well, they're usually right. Can you trust it? No. Then we trade it. But for the, on the short run, when we take a look intraday and we expect them, I expected them to move higher today uh, because of the reason I just described, then you expect them to move higher. Yeah, you follow them. You take your partial. You put some money in the pocket and I'm going to finish my way up $10,000. Now, who makes this kind of money in like uh, 30 minutes? <laughs> As traders, don't we love our profession? Well, I certainly love mine. Well, traders, um, that's it for me today. And um, just enjoy the rest of your day and uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. And I would love to see you all here next week. Thank you all for participating. Thank you guys on YouTube for following us. If you don't mind, give us a thumb up. That would be very helpful. And just have a beautiful, amazing weekend. And I'll see you here next week. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.